Hi guys, this is Cash and I'm checking in with you from Frankfurt, Germany with Ignite Thermogenic Fat Burner. This is my little secret to keeping lean and having good energy throughout my busy days while I travel. So I want you guys to be sure to check out Ignite, especially if you're trying to get yourself in shape for this summer. Oh, Ignite is gonna get you into bikini body shape. You know, I gotta show you guys a bit of what's going on. Ignite is gonna help you get the results that you want. You're gonna love this product. I certainly do. So I'll put the link down below for the website. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and use my promo code to get great discounts. Check in with you guys soon. is going on how you guys doing me I'm doing good but you know I'm still uh, my throat is still psh, squeezed and sometimes I talk like this because the boy because the throat is like closed down there this is still stiff you know the, the cut you know still very sore and everything but I'm um, doing better you know I'd say I'm, I'm still only maybe 76 75 to 80 percent um you know back to where i was i couldn't i can't lift weights or any of that stuff but i actually look pretty good and also i just wanted to say that we wanted to thank our sponsors chaos nutrition do chaos nutrition um you go there for all you need they're starting a movement like i tell you every fucking video but it's the truth and my boy big frank is there and big frank is the biggest monster you'll ever see in your fucking life if you don't if you don't believe me, Google Big Frank. He's a fucking monster. He Look at pictures of him and Rick, P Rich Piana. He made Piana look like a fucking swimmer. You know what I'm saying? I mean, two of Rich Piana standing side by side are as wide as one Big Frank. And Big Frank is not fat. He's fucking big. Okay? He's big. And when I say he's not fat, it's because you see a big fat guy. No way. Rich B B Big Frank... It's like one of those guys. And Big Frank was once fat. Dude, like, I, I always tell Big Frank, you should be the Mr. Olympia. Uh, you should get like a Mr. Olympia trophy. Just for the, what you've accomplished more than anybody else. Because he started out as a f fat like, guy. Like, I guess, I don't know when he was fat. Uh, he, you know, he didn't tell me. But if you see his before pictures, you see his after pictures. I've never, that's the greatest transformation. I've never seen anything like that in my life. And he's won, you know, big shows, you know. He's, he's shredded with abs and everything. I mean, dude. He's a monster. And he is one of the original guys with 5% with Rich Piana, okay? And so is the guy that uh, owns Chaos Nutrition. Um, I forgot his name, but he's a good guy. And he and, he, and he's, he's another guy that was there from the beginning with Rich Piana. They were there when Rich Piana was doing the fucking, uh, what do you call it, Mute Nutrition, okay? And now they're starting their own movement because they don't like the way, you know, they broke off from 5% because they don't like the way shit's going over there. And hey, listen. Now they got chaosnutrition.com, C-H-A-O-S, nutrition.com, okay? Check them out, man. They're no joke, and they're definitely doing a fucking way. Dude, wherever Big Frank goes, you do fucking Big Frank walk at a goddamn expo, and everybody walks away from everybody. It goes to him. He's, he's gigundo. He's not huge. He's gigundo. That's a different. He's got his own fucking zip code. All right. So anyway, we're going to say hello to my boy, Paul DeMeo. We remember him always, okay, because he was my friend, and I, he was, to me, he was a great guy, but, and I love him, and, uh, by the way, you know, Bob Gruskin died, who was a, a, a you guys, I think, probably, I might have talked about this last time, but, you know, Bob Gruskin was one of my mentors, and, uh, he, fucking, he was actually once a judge at Mr. Olympia, and was, uh, you know, back when it all started, but back at Sergio's days, you know, Sergio Oliva, he's given advice and trained all those great bodybuilders and stuff, and he was a superstar, he was a rock star, and ironically, my boy Alex Abay, who was his buddy, uh, passed away just a little bit before him, Alex Abay was uh, second in command in the NABA, Bob Gruskin was actually the boy, uh, head of the NABA, and Alex Abay was the one that he was coming down to see the day he died, so 
they had talked on, I was taking a bus down in New York to stay with my friend Alex, but Alex just died. So now him, Paul DeMeo, and Bob Grush can roll up, up somewhere in a big gym up in heaven, and they're having a ball. Some of you probably don't believe that, but whatever. All right. Uh, I got it. Where did I fucking put that shit? Again, my throat. The old throat is still not there. So it's like, you know, my vice sometimes it gets tight like this. It almost sounds like I sucked helium. Anyway. I got to show you. I have it in this bottle. But these, this is gold. Right there. Yeah, let me take it out. I only have like three left, but you guys can't see this. But this is the infamous right here. Can you? I can't see if I'm showing the crosses, but the cross. But anyway, that right there, guys. You young guys will never see a supplement like this. This right here is a dimetrodine, aka pure ephedrine HCL. Right here. Actually, this might be from either D and E or T and M supplements. You guys, you old school guys, know what I'm talking about. You new guys, forget it. Or it's yeah, it could be a dimetrodine. I don't remember because I, I took it out of the bottle a long time ago. But anyway, that right there is a white cross. That, my friends, is pure ephedrine HCL. They don't make it. it there's pre workouts. <laughs> You'll never see a pre workout like that, dude. You gotta be kidding me. All this shit you got on the market today, what, Jack, AD, and all that shit. That couldn't suck that dick right there. That shit is gold. Okay? Gold. That's the ingredient that was in Ripped Fuel. Another pre workout fucking monster. There will never be a supplement like that. The government won't allow it, so. But I forget to show you that. I just, I, I love that. Before I show you that one, let me show you this one. I don't know if I showed you guys this already. I, I might have. Okay, I showed you so many of these. You know, this is an old muscular development. I, I muscle mag, wait a minute. I think I might have shown you this. I don't remember. Okay, but, you know, because I do so much over here, guys. My, my girlfriend sells these guns. If you guys ask me where, she sells them on, um, on uh, eBay. So you got to look for the old magazines on eBay. Anyway. And her thing is P-A-G-I-J-U. P-A-P-A-G... Wait. P-A-G-I-J-U. That's her name on eBay. Okay. Anyway, look. All these great, great articles. Look, look at all that shit, man. I love these old ads, bro. Look at that. Steve Davis. Look at him down there, man. Look. Those are like inspirational. Inspirational shit. You, you guys don't know. Come on. I showed you this. I know. It's been on the back. It's because it's on the back of all these old magazines. But come on. Remember, Frank Zane. Who did it better than that? Okay, I know I showed you that before, but you can eat. look, Vince Geronda. Wait, no, it's Vince Geronda, baby. Right there. All you young guys, you have no idea, but that guy right there is the like the original guru of all gurus. He was a trainer. They don't make guys like that anymore. You know what I mean? But you young guys, look, 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 this is like, when I, I love the, I don't know why, but I love these, like, cards, like, this is how you, look, you see that, this is how you send it to get Muscle Mag, you want Muscle Mag sent to your house, you send it on that little card that's in the magazine, Robert Kennedy was a great guy, man, I loved him, you know, he was a great guy, and he passed away, unfortunately, you know, um, look, new style muscle t-shirt, this is so 70s, bro, so 70s, look at this shit, ready? So 70s, new style, muscle t-shirts, look at that. Anyway, anyway, that's the name of that, this is such good, when you look at these magazines, it's the old shit in here, you know what I mean? Nunchuck, fighting defense, nunchucks, you know, fighting defense, nunchucks, look at that. You know, they used to have all that. Recommended gyms. Do you remember that, guys? Do you old guys remember that? Recommended gyms. They had a whole gym directory. You remember that? You remember that? Don't make shit like that, bro. All this stuff. You know, get posing trunks. You know, be better with chicks and all that stuff in the muscle mail room. Remember all this shit? Anyway, they don't make stuff like this anymore. I love this. I love this. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then... Wait, where is it? Right here. Okay, guys. Love. Ready? Are you ready for this? Shit like this. Look at that. Look, look. look at that. 
I hope I didn't show this last week. I thought I showed that one. There's so many. I got so many of them. Did I show this last week? 15 cents. I think I did. Hold on. Let me grab another one in for you. Hold on. Okay, okay, relax. Sit me down. I got so many of these fucking things. I don't know what I showed and what I didn't. Hold on. I'll show you. This is an old Joe Weider magazine. I might have showed you that one. Anyway, look, in case I didn't, I know what you guys are saying. You take your memory supplement, you can't remember. Yeah, right, okay. Look, right here. 15 cents. 19... 1945. Look at that. 1945. Look at that. That's what a muscle mag is. That's your history. And that's Strength and Health, which was a brother to Muscular Development, which I worked. And there, yeah, look at your old barbells and dumbbell stuff. Anyway. See, I got a whole stack of money. I can't remember which one I showed you. And yes, my memory is fine, but I got so much other shit I'm doing here, guys. You gotta give me a fucking break. I got this. This is the last of my words. This is hard to actually do any shit. Look, the original Joe Weider. Well, not the original. There was one or two before this, but this is the original Muscle Builder, the famous Muscle Builder magazine. Now look at this. Look, 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 look. And on the back, there's Joe Weider. Well, what he says was him, right? There's Joe Weider. And look, the Weider training set. Look at it. Look at it. Look at all the weights. And remember, who doesn't remember that, Ed? What year is this? This was 35 cents, March. Doesn't say when. Eh. Look at all this, though. This was great stuff. Look. They used to have all these. I remember shit like this. Look where a guy's fat, right? And then he gets then he goes to that. Sucks in his gut. But, um, Joe Weider, challenge of for life. Um, wait, I'm trying to find some good shit. Look at this, is the old kind of pictures that you used to have to do. Look, 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 look. That's, that's what bodybuilders look like, okay? This is, you know, this is the old days. Super Protein 90, Joe Weider. Look at this, look. Look, Super Protein 90, look, look. I remember all this shit, bro. Look, there's the bottle right there. There. You see the bottle? Super Protein 90. Man, what year is this? I gotta see what year this is. Holy shit. Look, uh, this is goddamn... Oh, 1959. Here is your Joe Weider magazine. Joe Weider magazine. 1959. March. March. 1959. Yeah, where were you in 1959? There you go. I was just getting ready to be born in March. I wasn't born in March, but I was already, I was already, I already existed. I was in my mommy's belly. All right. Shall we get started? Let's get started. Let's answer some of your questions. First question. All right, let's do it here. Ready? Uh, this is one of my guys on here. It's been very supportive of me. Uh, S.G. Galvez, okay. Um, video suggestion topic. Recovery from a major injury illness. When to start working out again uh, without blowing out a gizzard. A gizzard probably means an organ. I mean, you know, he's, he, I, I don't think he's American. So his, you know, gizzard means without blowing out your insides. Uh... How to start light, medium, and heavy, etc. So he's asking me if you've been really sick and or injured, when should you start? See now, my throat is very dry right now. I'm trying to talk, you know, so it's it's kind of shrinking. I feel it. So I might be start talking like this by the end of the video. Um, but um, you know, uh, it depends what the injury is, and it depends on what the illness is. If you're just sick, sick, like you got a bad cold or whatever, usually about a week, you know, you got to, you know, or, or a few days, it depends. I, I am nuts, so I, I don't like to not train. But now I have, personally, me, I have not trained since, I can tell you the exact date. I got my first surgery, February, February 13th. So I, I, I haven't trained since probably, I think I trained a week after that. And then, uh, yeah, because I bled. All right, I, I haven't trained since maybe the first week in March or, or, or whatever. Yeah, something like that. Or, or end of February. It's been since I've lived it, since I worked out. Now, 
I do a little bit of no weight exercises here. A little bit. Nothing major. Just like exercises. That's it. Just to keep myself to heal. Because I feel that that helps me to heal. And I feel better when I do that. And if you've had a major illness. Okay. Major operation. Or. I had major three operations. Major uh, injury. Now you're talking about you have to wait till that injury or the, those operations are totally healed. Because if you don't, you could have, in my case, because I'm in the tro the bleeding, forget about it. You bleed, I could, I almost bled to death. I, mean, I drowned in my own blood. You know, so, uh, and they saved, you know, saved my life with that because I was fucking cooked. I mean, I was done. I was refusing, and you know, I didn't want them to knock me out, but they had no choice because I would have, I would have been dead. It would, it was in my lungs and everything. It, was, it took a while, but it took me days to get that out. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But you have to take your time. Coming back too soon from an injury, first of all, you ask your doctor. Okay, you ask your doctor when, when can I go back to working out? And usually. You could do like light exercises at your house like I do now. You know, from push-ups to maybe no weight dips, you know, shit like that. You know what I mean? No weight squats like knee bends, you know, different things like that. You could do that kind of stuff. You know, stuff used to do a football practice, circles, you know, like that kind of shit. Raise your legs, legs up, legs up. All that stuff you could do probably... You know, two weeks after a surgery or something like that, you shouldn't start bleeding. But you got to ask your doctor first if you've had a surgery, okay? If you had an injury, like let's say, I don't know, if it's just an injury that like you're nursing yourself. For instance, like a bad lower back or I blew my knee out or whatever. Well, if you blew your knee out and your joints, you have to see a doctor. And you got to be careful with that. Because joints are a different ball game, Okay. Bad back usually lasts about a week. Some people two weeks, okay. But you, you know, you can come back. Actually, when I start training, if my back is really barking bad, and I start training, the training helps to loosen it up because most bad backs are nothing more than muscle spasm and muscle tightness, and you can loosen that up, okay. Uh, you know, if you have shoulder injury or pinched nerve up in the, you know, like that up in the neck and all that, or shoulder, you know, like where you, that's going to be a different ball game. You have to start out light. And you work your way into it slowly. Everything's got to be slow back into it. And everything should be under a doctor's supervision. Because if you don't do... If you're a fucking momo. And you come back too soon. Before it's too soon. Then you're asking for trouble. Okay? And if you start bleeding. Or if you hurt the area more. You're going to be out even longer. And you could actually do more damage. When now you need surgery. So you're going to have the surgery time, and usually it's a couple weeks after surgery. You'll, you'll be out at least a month, at least. And that's just from light exercise training, not heavy-duty, full-blown. Listen, you got to crawl before you walk. You got to walk before you jog. You got to jog before you sprint, and you got to sprint before you go all out. Okay? So what that means is you got to first crawl. You're going to be doing just normal exercise, you know, maybe exercise at your house, you know, shit you see guys doing it like this and, you know, and, 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 and getting you, you can't just fucking full blown go back into the gym and try to pick up where you left off because you're going to get hurt and you're going to either need surgery or you're going to be so fucked up that it's going to put you out even further. So don't be a fucking momo. Well, you're already a momo. Don't, don't be a fucko, Okay. So that's it. I mean, you, you got to, your best advice is to see a doctor and especially if you've had surgery like me, you don't want bleeding. Bleeding is bad. It's very, very bad. Trust me. Okay? Crawl before you walk. Walk before you jog. Jog before you sprint. Sprint before you go all out running. Okay? To, to like, that's it. Balls to the walls. Capish? All right. Next. WW wants to know, Greg, can I take... Anivar only. He was said, "Can I take Anivar only?" Sorry, I forgot the only in there. I read like remember. I leave like I read like a ten year old, especially when I fucking write my own shit. Uh, I just wanted to lose some fat and work out hard to build some veins. I needed to run. If I needed to run test with it, fine. 
I just need some clarification. I don't need to gain any size. I'm big enough. Just want, just, uh, there goes my mother-in-law. Shut up! You hear her barking? I'm no, just kidding. Uh, just the whole virus shit uh, has had it so I haven't trained in two months. Thinking about what I can do when I get back. All right, listen to me. I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to answer backwards. I'm not going to get into the whole thing because I'll do more. I talked about it and talk a smack about everybody wanting to get back to the gym. So no why before it's time. John Romano and I kind of argued about it. Dave Palumbo was on my side on RX. And we'll get into that more. I'll talk a little bit more about that on Talking Smack. Of course, you know, when you own a gym, you're going to want the gym to open. But the thing is, is, bro, let me tell you something. Gyms right now are sweat fest, breath fests, and a germ fest. And that's the fucking, that's one of the quickest ways. You could lick a doorknob, a fucking, and paper money. Those are the two fucking worst, the, the, the fucking railing, and then a gym, bro. Let me tell you, because gyms is just a breeding ground for any kind of virus, germs, infections, you know, MRSA, all these other things, the flu. It's all over the gym. So, go back when you're ready. The other thing, when you talk about taking an animal by itself, bro, you're not a bikini girl, okay? That's what bikini girls do. It's low in it. It's not going to make you veiny. The only way to make you veiny, okay, and the only way to lose weight is to sew up La boca, you know, your pie hole, your pizza hole, your ice cream hole, okay, your cake hole, your donut hole, whatever this hole is, sew it up, listen to me, there's nobody on this planet, no pro bodybuilder, can take clombuterol, cytodrin, cytomel, all this other shit, you know, uh, uh, you know, Raw hormone, all this stuff, and eat pizza and ice cream and still get ripped. There's a reason why pro bodybuilders before a show sit around and eat skinless chicken, okay, asparagus, fucking, fucking string bean or some bullshit, and a little bit of rice, or fish. There's a reason why they sit there and eat that, okay, yet they're still on all those same drugs I just mentioned. Why? Because it's, it's the fucking quality of the food you're eating. You want veins? You want to get ripped? Eat better. Anivar is not going to help you. Anivar is just going to help to create an anabolic state without being androgenic to, to the point where you're going to, like, for girls it doesn't create virilization. For guys it really doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. You'll feel it a little bit, not a much. Your strength might go up a little bit. But if you're eating shit and you're not eating correctly, and the reason why you don't have veins is not because of Anivar. Now, yes, there are some guys that could sit and eat McDonald's and pizza, okay, but they can't go to a show like that. Even, you know, guys that you hear, like Juan Morel and everything, that you know, eats shit and can get, you know, whatever, doesn't get fat. That's because of his metabolism, his genetics. So he's going to have veins whether he eats fucking grandma's pies or whatever it is, okay? It doesn't matter. But you, if you already have a little body fat and you're kind of chunky big, you got you to gotta watch the fucking... The spam hole there, okay? You got to watch that. It's why you're eating. Can you take a little anivar? Absolutely. You know, the, a little tiny piece to a big picture. I would take a little test with that, definitely. Anivar by itself, you might as well be a bikini girl because that's what they do, okay? You know, test is the, you know, test is the entree. You know, anivar is like the little mashed potatoes on the side, you know? The side dish, but... You build a cycle around testosterone. But it, listen, you're more than likely WW, and I don't mean this no shade, okay? And I don't mean this, you know, I'm not, you know, but more than likely you're not eating right, okay? If your veins ain't coming out and you don't have abs, it's not because you're not taking Anavar. It's not because you're not taking test. You could take those two things. They'll help you while you're on a diet to hold on to muscle a little bit. See, the way it's done, like, oh, little bit like this, I heard it. Anyway, a choke. Let me swallow a little bit. Okay. Especially this side. Inside, you have no idea. They cut the shit out of the inside of my throat. It sucks. But, you, you got it. You're going to have to fucking watch what you eat. It's not a matter of taking animal and test. You could take animal and test, but you might, you might get a little bit more bloated. I don't know. You know what I mean? Everybody reacts different. It's the diet. Eat good. Feed the muscles. 
If you have a little bit of body fat, you better watch eating all those carbs. Don't say, well, carbs are muscle sparing. Yeah, eating a little scoop of maybe white rice or something like that, or oatmeal or cream of fucking rice or something. That's what your bodybuilders do. Then I'm eating pizza. Say, well, I got to get the carbs in. You know, let me eat a big bowl of pasta. And, you know, some guys can get away with that because they have fast metabolisms. But if you have a slow metabolism and you're a big guy and you've got big shoulders and you're chunky big, it's what you eat. The drugs will only help keep, create an anabolic effect, an anabolic environment while you're dieting. So bodybuilders, when they take all that stuff to speed up the metabolism, like cytomel and this and that, you know, columbia rolls and this and that, all that stuff, growth hormone, will help to hold muscle, burn fat and all that, but they still diet. They still eat good. You need to eat better. I'm just trying to help you, WW. Okay, and I appreciate you coming to me. So, yes, you could take the Anavar. Yes, you could take the test if that's what you want to do. But it's the eating, I think. Be honest with yourself. Assess it. Okay? I'm just telling you. Nobody eats all that shit. And you probably have, you know, and if, you know, if, if, you, if you feel like I eat good now, I think you need to reassess that. And if, if it is the truth, and you don't eat any carbs and all this other shit, and you're eating, a, you know, you're eating really clean, then you better, you got to get tested, okay? Because either it's too many calories, it's, you know, insulin resistance, it could be thyroid, which usually it's girls, okay? It could be too much um, cortisone. You know, those are the things that, like, cause, you understand, the body fat. It's it's those it's those kind of, you'd have to get that, to, but more than likely, it's that you're eating the wrong foods. Todd Jones wants to know, what's your opinion, Todd Jones the third? what's your opinion on chlorine dioxide MMS? I don't know too much about that shit, but I do know, I've, I've heard of it before, and I know that, I don't know what the MMS, all that bullshit is, but I know that chlorine dioxide is a supplement that some nuts use, and it, it has fucking chlorine in it, alright, and I'm not going to get into the whole, what Donald Trump said, and it, he was kidding, he was being, because they're, the, 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 the reporters are being assholes, and they're asking him, they don't give a shit about the coronavirus, they're just trying to trap him. Okay, so he said, you know, he, he he just got facetious with them. Okay, like he was just getting like, uh, he just got like, you know, he was fucking with them, you know. You get it? He could disinfect his, uh, no, what moron in their right mind is going to sit there and go, you know what, let me drink some Lysol. Let me this, that's what, when you're asking me about that, I've seen that shit before. It helps to kill viruses in the body and all that stuff. No, it doesn't. It's, you know what it does? It poisons you. You could... Aside from throwing up or getting bad diarrhea, which I never found attractive, okay, it'll shut down your kidneys. You got bish. So, there, and, and if you guys out there thinking that this has anything to do with Donald Trump, it doesn't. I don't think it does. He's asking me this, but I'm just, just, I know right now the whole disinfectant, you know, thing. You know, with Trump, you know, and he being, you know, come on, you're not that stupid. If Trump said, you know, drink fucking gasoline, oh shit, Donald Trump's, you know, meanwhile, you know, come on now, you're not that stupid. If you are, then forget about it. But this guy, when you're asking me, but I know I've seen this before. I forgot what the, the MMS stands for something. Listen, the chlor that supplement is not good. It's not a good supplement. I've heard about it. I remember a guy saying about it. You know, pour it on you for MRSA and all this other shit. Drink it. You know, you don't want to get fat. No, it's not going to fucking do this bad. It's going to shut down your kidneys and kill you. you. Kill your kidneys, bro. Anytime you kill your kidneys, you're fucking done. You're done, bro. Don't do stupid shit. All right, next one. I can't even, like, that's stupid. Don't, don't, no, come on. It's, no, and he's not asking, guys, for you guys that don't know what he's asking, you can Google, there is a supplement called chlorine dioxide MMS, I don't know what the fuck the MMS stands for, I forgot, 
But I do know about the chlorine dioxide. It is a sup. There is an actual liquid supplement like that, and that they, there's like these nut longevity nuts. Some of them actually believe that it helps to you know clean the inside. You know, I'm not going to say it, but a pro bodybuilder who I'm friends with, I'm not going to say his name. Okay, and I love him to death. All right, we're really good friends. He's a good guy, but he said he puts. I don't know, 10 or, or 15 drops of fucking of uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide in water and drinks it. Now, there might be a few of you out there go, I know who it is, or oh, I've done that, yes, it works. Dude, I am not sticking fucking hydrogen peroxide, okay, which it says do not drink this. I am not going to put drops of it in my water and drink it with like 18 ounces of water. I'm not doing that. If you want to do that, I would not recommend that. Okay, it tells you on a bottle, do not drink this. This is not made for consumption, for human consumption. Okay, but there is a pro bodybuilder who swears by that shit. I probably shouldn't even have said that, because some of you fucking momos are going to be, really? Really? Come on. Common sense. Uh, whatever. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Sure, I shouldn't probably shouldn't have answered this question. All right. Another one of my guys on here, Caesar Canilia, okay? Maybe he spells Canilla. I don't know how you spell it, you know, how, but you guys have seen him. He's, this post, you guys can see these posts, they were all, these comments. This, I think, was on, uh, by Talk of Smack, but he asked me a question. He's one of my guys on there, okay? He's been on there for a long time. He supports me. Thank you, Caesar. Hello, Greg. I am glad you are okay. Thank you. Uh, what kind of side effects has... The nootropic. He's talking about the game face, the one that I take, the game face. As no, I'm not going to talk about that here. That's a different, you know, but he's asking me, uh, it has no side effects. No nootropics that I know of, any nootropic, no matter what brand it is, has no side effects. I think I mentioned that last week. Then he says, what is your opinion on, wait, what is your opinion, oh God, here's another one who asking me about the chlorine dioxide, MMS. I never see that. It can cure the corona. Can it cure the coronavirus? No, Caesar. No, I. <laughs> Holy shit! Another guy asking me about that. Do you know Todd Jones, Caesar? Is Todd Jones the third? No, it cannot fucking. It's no good. Do not take that shit. It's poison. Then Caesar asks me, "What is your opinion on QAnon?" Mar Maurice soldiers have to save hundreds of thousands of what? Tunnels in Central Park. Trump is fighting against the Illuminati. And I listen. Okay, I, I should have previewed that question a little bit better. Caesar, listen to me. No, I already just answered that question. <laughs> Clark Toxin, no. And and the other thing is, I don't know anything about this. Cuna, I've heard about that shit. Okay, it's all bullshit. But I live in New York, man. Ain't no fucking. There are tunnels all through New York. Oh Christ, this doesn't have anything to do with bodybuilding, but. I, this question skimmed through me. I, 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 when I put it down here, I, I didn't fucking... Fuck. I, I don't believe in any, any of those conspiracy things. I'm sorry. I know there's this whole thing about the secret armies fighting each other and all this shit. And I've been hearing that shit. Why did Building 7 go down? I don't know. You tell me why did Building 7 go down. What did... What did somebody get out of that? Please. I don't believe in any of conspiracy theories, okay? And that's all conspiracy shit, all this secret Illuminati stuff. There, there's probably an Illuminati out there in Italy somewhere, I don't know, whatever. But all this, uh, yes, it's in the United States, too. I don't give a shit. Whatever, please. All right, next question. You know what? Guys, I'm sorry, but I, uh, that, I just reading it now out loud, and I'm like, what? All right, let's go to the next question. I don't get, it, I don't get into conspiracy shit, bro. And I live in New York, bro. All right, there is tunnels all through New York City. New York City's built on fucking ancient tunnels. You know, it's, New York City's like the closest thing to Rome. You know what I mean? It's fucking old, man. And it's got all kinds of tunnels and bullshit underneath. But there is no secret society living down there. There's fucking junkies and fucking homeless and wackos down there. I've been down there. All right. All right, guys. This is my last one. Listen to me. I, I'm sorry. I... I that question zipped, you know, I'm over here reading it, and as I'm reading it, I could cut it, cut it out of the video, but he asked me, so, sorry, Caesar, no, no disrespect, no, you know, no, uh, no shade, man, but I can't, that, that, I can't, you know, I don't believe in any of that stuff, I'm sorry, 
I'm not going to fight with you guys on here that do believe that stuff. If you want to believe that, believe it. Building number seven. <laughs> anyway. And I have friends that believe that shit. And I have huge arguments with them. So I know enough about it. So. All right, anyway, but next, LS29 wants to know, Greg, how can I thicken my biceps? When I pose the peak, when I pose they peak, and they are actually pretty big, but n not thick enough. Please help. All right, I like that question. It's a good question. Um, to wait, The best way to thicken a biceps is by the, working the brachialis, okay, Right here, the outside of the bicep. And for me, what I used to do back in the day, I would take hammer curls and I would do them, I used to do them simultaneously together, okay? But I would leave the plate. How, there's no fucking shit here that I could explain. The plate would be flat, like this. Flat, like that, okay? On my would lay flat and I would actually lift the you know with the flat pushing with this whole piece of the hand so I would do my you know my my hammer curls I would almost go from behind me up from behind me up and then once I, I would do that to failure and I would do no rest I would take an easy curl bar hold the insides and use my thumbs okay put it on the easy curl bar on the inside grip and I would use my thumbs and almost lift with my thumbs and I would do reverse curls. I would do about six sets of that with no rest. As soon as I put the easy curl bar down, go back to the dumbbells. Boom, boom. Sometimes I would actually go from behind me like this, from behind me and out, from behind me and out, or sometimes from behind me and in. I would switch the way I would do it. And then, again, grab the easy curl bar, inside grip, and I would lift, but I would almost, I would lift with where right where it bends okay I would lift I put my thumbs in there and I would almost lift with my thumbs I mean my hands were over but I would lift with my thumbs and I would bring that up and I would do I would put a burn in there you know I sometimes I would also do that on a you could do it on a cable machine okay you know with the you know the bar that's bent or I, I would I would actually sometimes take a handle just a you know a rope with the ball on the end, and I'd let that ball sit on the top, and I would do, I would do one hand like this, and I would go right to the other hand like this, okay, then I would go to the other hand like this, then no rest, bro, no rest, back and forth, back and forth, where, you know, I'm pulling on a cable from down below, okay, but you do it, I would stand to the side like this, ah, like this, do it straight up, and then put it in this hand, stand to this side, ah, okay, that's what I would do, but I believe in no rest, and that will thicken the biceps, uh, yes, the biceps. You know, triceps, if you work the outer part of the triceps, I, I used to do like shit like this, okay, where I put the, the plate would lay here and I would push the plate of the dumbbell straight out like this from the side, okay, and then you could do, you know, the press downs all with no weight. You could go look at my tricep routine and it's on my YouTube channel, Greg Valentino YouTube. You could go on there. And you'll see how what I would do for the triceps. Because I believe that the triceps too. It's the outer part of the triceps as well as the outer part of the bicep. Which the brachialis, which ties in their form and everything. I believe that that all is what thickens the arm. It definitely thickens the arm. Okay? I love reverse curls. Love them for the for thickness. But the way I do them is not with a straight bar. I like to use the bent you know, the easy cobra, and I like to get that grip on the inside, right where it bends, the thumbs go, and I make the thumbs do the work, I, the bar is actually, the thumbs are actually, you know, do you understand what I'm saying, right in the bend, right in the bend, that's where the thumbs belong, in the bend, and then, um, and, and do what I told you, if you're going to do the rope, you go, you do one side, you come over, almost, you could come out like this, you stand out a little bit like this and do it, or you could go right above, stand right over like this. But then you switch, and you go to this side, so it's on the side. You gabish, that really works too, bro, that'll fucking, you know the rope, it's got that ball on the end, here's a light bulb, it's got the ball on the end. So the ball, you almost lift with this part of your hand, right here, and the ball, up like this, bang, <clears throat> Okay, and then you switch over to this side. Uh, uh, but you, you know, you move. See how I'm moving? From left to right. So that this is right there, direct. Sometimes I'll stand back and I'll go like a little bit out. Or if I feel, I change every day when I do it because I feel different every time. Sometimes I feel like when the, when, when the, 
when the cable's more in a line like this than or than straight up like that. It depends on the day. But that's how I thicken my biceps and do try it. It works, but you gotta do no rest. There's no resting. Don't put it down sitting there telling your friend that you met some girl in a bar or whatever, you know. Or some YouTube video or whatever the fuck. Or dancing to music in the gym. You, know, you don't do that shit. You just keep going and going and going and going and going. No rest with that. No rest. As soon as you put, the, as soon as you put it down, go to the other side. Or, 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 or the dumbbells. As soon as you put the dumbbells down, you grab the fucking easy curl bar. You, it does, there's no fucking around. Okay? There's no rest. Not with that. It's definitely a bench pressing. The throat, bro. The throat. Alright. Listen, guys. Um, I just want to say... Uh, one of the guys, Anthony Scott, and a lot of you guys have been giving me your two cents on things. I read every comment, even if you listen to me. Even if you talk shit, you hate my guts, and you say shit to me, I see it. Don't worry about it. And uh, even if you give me props, I see it. I see every fucking comment on it. Even if I don't respond, trust, I see it. I didn't respond, Anthony Scott, I'm sorry, but I did see where you say, Greg, I rub bio oil. He's telling me to put bio oil on here. And there's a reason why I'm telling you this. He's telling me to put bio oil on here. He's telling me, you know, uh, to protect against viruses. Take the zinc gluconate twice a day along with, you know, uh, quinine. Okay, because zinc, the quinine gets zinc into the cells. And quinine meaning tonic water. I've known about that for a long time. Dave Palumbo and I have talked about it. Uh, Dave Palumbo says, take the chelated zinc, don't take the zinc gluconate. I know that zinc gluconate is a common and very popular one, and there are people who take the zinc gluconate with great results. You know, Dave says chelated, you know, Dave's got his, his uh, mineralized, which he was supposed to send me two bottles, he didn't send it to me. Um, but the reason why I brought this up is because I think, I like, I like this. I like when people give their two cents back, because it's not just, sometimes some of you guys have said stuff to me, that, like, I looked up that bio oil, and I'm like, huh, you know, and, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe, maybe I'll try that, you know, so I thank you, Anthony Scott, and, but there's other shit that people have told me over the past, and, uh, you know, I, I, I've seen it, you know, like that ROS oil and all this other bullshit, you know, uh, Rick Stevens or RS or whatever the fuck it is, you know, I've seen all those things before, but, you know, I appreciate that, and it, I think it's good that you guys do that, not for me, but even for other people, because there's other guys who see these things, and I've seen guys on here help other guys that are leaving comments. I like that. So if you if you see other comments on here, and somebody's saying, hey, Greg, I have this, this uh, order, you feel free to throw your comment down, or if you guys have any, if you hear me talk about shit, and you want to throw your two cents in, throw your two cents in. I want to hear it. Guys, I, we help each other here. That's what this Q&A, this whole, you know, training thing is about, okay, I'm sorry that that one question got through, I'm stupid, I, I should have seen it when I, I wrote it down, and it's my own fault, because I was writing, but I wrote it a week ago, okay, so, you know, I didn't, I don't know why, but I missed the two questions, became the same, and it asked about the same thing, listen to me, put your comments down here, I can't help you, if you don't ask me the questions. And sometimes all the guys have even better answers than I do. You know, I'm not the fucking be all end all guys. I never said I am. I'm not like these other guys on the fucking internet. I think I know a hell of a lot more than most of them because I've been doing this not only a long time, but I've been through errors, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been through the errors, you know? I started this in 1972. Okay? 1972. I stepped on a stage in 1976. You're not gonna... I know. I was there when they didn't play music, bro. They played just house music, like, n not house music, but, you know, like, you know, like, like Wayne DeMille said, like, Chariots of Fire, shit like that, whatever, you know, that kind of music, you know what I mean? That's what they did. It was, sometimes it was just like a light hanging over your head. It, it, so I've been there through all those errors. I have experience. I have knowledge. I, I've been around all these pro bodybuilders, the greatest gurus. Uh, you know, Vince, I've met Vince Durant. I haven't, I wouldn't really hang out with him. And, uh, I didn't know him so greatly, but I did, you know, I have met him and I have talked to him. And, uh, you know, obviously Bob Gruskin probably is up there with Vince Durant as the greatest ever, you know, who just passed away. You hear all these bodybuilders, Google him all over the internet. You see the greatest bodybuilders from Lee Haney to Arnold Schwarzenegger. say Bob Gruskin, Bob Gruskin. You guys don't know, because he, he, he's not like these, these fucking guys. He wasn't a guru, he was a coach, okay? He was a, di it was a different animal, okay? And the point I'm trying to make is that 
we can help each other by talking about this shit. And I like when guys saw it. I like the fact that Anthony saw it and I had this thing. He said, hey, wait, try this. I'm not above listening to different things that you guys have to say. Or even though some of the stuff I've heard before, you know, uh, you know, like the zinc and equina. I've known about zinc and equina for a long time. You know, that's where the whole uh, quinine is like the hydro, whatever, the hydro, whatever quinine that fucking P Trump was telling guys to take. You know what I mean? And Palumbo's done a video about this. And Palumbo and I have talked about it, you know, because my go my my daughter and her friends and all that shit. Just, I'm not going to say what the deal is, but, you know, some of them are sick and everything. So what I'm trying to say to you is, Dave and I talk privately. It, it, I, it helps. I like that. So... Anthony Scott and to some of you other guys who have also thrown your two cents in here, you know, in the past about different things and help and shit you know of, and thank you, and keep doing it, all right? Let's help everybody here. That's, that's, that's my goal, all right? Ending. So, with that said, listen to me. I want you guys to stop stressing stuff. If your gym's not open, don't worry about it. It's going to open eventually. Sell no wine before it's time. If it opens too early and there are a sick person, all you need is one sick guy in there sweating and farting and f pissing all over the fucking gym or breathing all <laughs> Remember, this is an airborne virus. I don't care. I know John Romano and I talked about it on our ex. Dave Plumbo agree with me. John, you know, and, and the others were, you know, on the other side of the fence. But let me tell you something. <clears throat> all you need is somebody coughing like that and it has the virus. I don't have the virus, so submit that. And you can't get it here. Um... But, you know, you got to you gotta be careful. We all have to be careful. Don't stress. This, this time will end. Good shit's going to happen. Things will be better. All right? It's going to, you know, gyms will be open. You will be able to lift weights and hang and bang and scream and do all that shit in the gym. But you don't want to go there too soon. All right? It's coming. Relax. And I don't want you to beat yourself up over things. If you lost a little size, you'll be fine. Do some exercises at home. Keep your body healthy. Eat good. Don't get fat. And think good thoughts. You're not doing yourself any favors by thinking bad thoughts or maybe, you know, beating yourself up or getting that anxiety and all that shit from this. It's not helping, bro. That's not going to do anything. Banging your head against the wall or freaking out or sitting there, you know, losing your temper or hating yourself or talking bad. You know, I'm a loser. Look at me. I'm not even big anymore. I suck. Whatever. Relax. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. Think good thoughts. Good things are going to happen for you. I need you guys here. I care. Okay, if you're stuck by yourself in your house and you haven't had human fucking interaction, watch these videos with me. I care. I'm not saying watch it. I don't get the hits, bro. I don't, if this video goes viral, gets millions of hits, it doesn't change. I don't get one penny. I get I get whatever, you know, I get from chaos sponsoring it and giving it a joke. That's it. And, I, you know, I'm not going to say what it is, but it, I get the same thing. It doesn't matter. This is not my channel. I got my own channel, Okay. I'm telling you this because I want you guys to feel like I'm there for you. I want to be there for you. I don't, I don't know, I, you know, I don't know all of you, obviously. But I know I care enough to tell you, don't beat yourself up over this shit. It's, everything is going to go back and things are going to be better. There might be a new normal, but it's not going to be, this is not the new normal. The new normal might be, and we might just be a little bit more cautious about things. And gyms might have to disinfect things a little bit, and you might have to take a little bit more precaution in the gym. But hey, listen, what the fuck is that? That just means you might not even get the, the flu, you know, or whatever. It's just, you have to relax, though. Okay? Again, beating yourself up is not helping anything. Okay? Get over that. Don't be depressed. Be anxious, you know. Look forward to good shit happening. And that's what's going to happen. All right? Please. You're not a loser. You're not a. You're not going to lose all your muscle. You'll gain it back. Muscle is memory, bro. You'll get two weeks. You'll be fucking in the gym. You'll be fucking back to being jacked. Relax with that. Okay? Gabish. All right. Be good to your girl. Be good to your significant other. If you're locked up with your kids and you're driving your kids crazy, don't you dare fucking touch those kids. They're kids. Sure, you drove your parents crazy. And if your parents hit you, that don't give you the right to hit your kids. It's not right. I never hit my kids. I wouldn't do that shit. 
Don't be an asshole. I don't like that. If you're one of those guys, get the fuck off my channel. Don't watch my videos. I don't want nothing to do with you. Gabish, I don't like that shit. Be good to your kids. Be good to yourself. Pay your child support if you what you're supposed to do. There's no excuses, bro. Pay child support. Alright? That's what a man does. It's never fair. But you're an, if you want to be a true alpha male, you want to be the lion and the, the king of your family, do the right thing. That's the right thing. Okay? Eventually, your kids are going to love you. They may not talk to you now, but eventually they're going to come back. They're going to realize she squandered everything and you paid. It didn't matter. It's not, it's not about life is never fair for nobody. Okay? Gabish, I love you guys. Good thoughts. No bad thoughts, okay? No, I'm a loser. None of that shit. This is bullshit. I haven't trained in two months. I'm losing everything. This is fucking bullshit. Stop that. Fucking stop that shit right now. You'll be back. And you'll be back better than ever. I know. I've been there. Try laying in a hospital with tubes down your fucking throat where you're paralyzed and you can't, you can't even go, you can't even move your mouth. All you can do is move your eyes. That looked creepy, didn't it? Anyway, that's it. Okay? Calm down. Good shit's coming. I'll see you guys here. Put your comments down. Alright? We need to hear what you think. Can't help you if you don't put your comments down. And the other guys, help out. Thanks. All right? Stop fucking around. Seriously, stop fucking around. See you in the next video. See you talking smack. All right.